It's not every day that apartment gets a new fire truck, so it's a big deal when we do replace an old one with a new one. This year, we are lucky enough to receive not one, but two identical fire trucks. These new pumper rescues are replacing two engines and a rescue truck and will be based at stations one and two. Originally, the trucks were scheduled to be purchased about a year apart from each other, but by waiting a year and having them built at the same time, the city saved a significant amount of money from sharing the engineering and other costs related to the building of the trucks. Recently, we took a drive up to the Rosenbauer factory in the city of Wyoming to give you an up-close look at how they build fire trucks right here in Minnesota. Well, Rosenbauer is a custom fire truck manufacturer. Um, we've been in business uh, un uninterrupted since 1929, and we custom build fire trucks right from the ground up. Everything is made right here in Wyoming, Minnesota. We also have a, another company that operates out of Lyons, South Dakota, operating as Rosenbauer, South Dakota. Together we form Rosenbauer America. We also have an aerial division that operates out of Fremont, Nebraska. So we actually are a global company. Our partner company is actually Rosenbauer International based out of Leoning, Austria. So worldwide we are the largest manufacturer of fire trucks. So we're building trucks at this facility here from anywhere from uh, Lakeville all the way to Saudi Arabia, Central America, South America. Obviously we're purchasing engines, transmissions, things like that and frames we're assembling, but beyond that, I mean, we'll, we custom build for every customer, you know, exactly what they want. It seems like every fire department wants something just a little bit different based on how they operate, and of course, whether they're a city department or a rural department. And generally, what we first do is, you know, after that first meeting is come back, meet with our engineering department, and put together a, uh, a sales blueprint, something that, that gives them a visual before we start putting this large specification together, we want to have the department be able to look at this truck and say, yeah, that's exactly what we want. You know, in most cases, it can take three, four, five, ten different revisions of the drawing to where we finally, you know, get that drawing nailed into where, it, wow, that is, that's got everything we want on it. It's, it's the length we want, the wheelbase, things like that. And at that point, then we de develop a specification based on how the interiors of the shelves lay out, um, how the interior of the cab lays out. And uh, from that point, you know, it gets into more of the engineering process, the purchasing process, ordering materials. From when we order that chassis to when it comes offline right now is, is roughly in the five to six month area. But in all actuality, from when the guys in the chassis building start building the chassis, it's about three to four weeks, so it's a pretty quick process. Um, at the same time, same deal on the body side here, once we actually start on it, it takes us anywhere from, uh, I would say, seven to ten weeks to complete, you know, from start to finish, from where we're building the subframe all the way through painting the body to installing the fire pump. So what's happening today is uh, a couple weeks ago our production manager um, kind of came to us and said, you know, at this date the truck is going to be done. So at that point Bob will get with the customer and work together with them on a date that uh, works for everybody um, to come up and do the final inspection of the fire truck. So that's what the, the, the Lakeville Fire Committee guys are doing here today. They're actually inspecting these two completed fire trucks. I've had inspections that last anywhere from an hour to you know, a full day. And so these guys got a lot of work. These are big trucks. They got a lot of special stuff on them. And so they're probably, you know, going to spend most of the day here going over these two trucks. Um, what they will do is uh, um, right now they're probably developing a list of, you know, a few things they may want to add, something they may not have thought of. At the same time, there may be something that doesn't meet their expectations. We hope that's not the case, but it's a big truck. There's a lot of components on it, so it's not uncommon that, you know, the department comes up with a few things. Um, in this case, Lakeville, I think they have a city mechanic that also came up that has, you know, been on a creeper here rolling underneath the truck and, you know, has found, you know, a few, you know, wires that need to be tied up or maybe some airline connections that just need to be repositioned a little bit better to help the truck uh, hopefully last longer and have less maintenance. I guess in conclusion, I mean, what it comes down to is the department, um, from the, the very beginning process to now, I mean, we work very closely with them throughout the process. And there's a lot of questions that come up during the build, but by keeping close communications with the fire department, inevitably, they end up with apparatus that meet their needs, 
serve the community well, that's one of our mottos, is helping, helping you serve your community, because that's what it's all about. It's not the Lakeville Fire Department necessarily buying a truck or us it, building a truck, it's working together you know, to, to build a piece of life-saving equipment that's gonna serve Lakeville for you know, 20 to 30 years to come. That sure was an interesting look at how fire trucks are built, and I'll bet you didn't know they were built right here in Minnesota. If you want an up-close look at one of these new trucks, you will have an opportunity at our annual waffle breakfast on Saturday, July 9th at Station 1. Stop down for all-you-can-eat waffles, take a look at these new trucks, and support your local fire department.